Hey guys, and welcome to another Minecraft GA prediction video. Oh, this is for the final round of group games in the football. And let's jump right into it. Up first, we have our only game on Saturday. Every other game is Sunday. So, we have Wexford versus Carlo. Now, as things stand, Wexford are in 5th, Carlo are in 6th, so... It's looking good for Wexford. Wexford also have the better score difference. Um, they've done surprisingly well, actually. I was expecting them to do a lot worse. Um, so yeah, I'm Carlo doing okay. They've got their two wins and a draw. Wexford have two wins and two draws, so. It's going to be pretty even. Um, I think I'm going to go with Wexford on this one. Um, I think they're slowly building themselves up a bit. At least in the league, anyway. Uh, championship, they're struggling, but league, they're trying to get themselves built up a bit. So I'm going to go with Wexford, and I'm going to say by three points. I think Carlo will put up a good f fight, but Wexford will get them in the end. So. Wexford to win by three points. So up first on Sunday we have Tyrone versus Armagh. Um, Tyrone in a similar position to Kerry, but pr no, Tyrone wouldn't get the same chance as Kerry. Possibly, S score difference would have to go very much in their favour. Um, Armagh will be looking to hopefully avoid relegation, so maybe the, the score difference will go in Tyrone's favour, who knows. Um, but I'm going to go with Tyrone on this, just because they're fighting for a possible spot in the final. And Armagh are struggling to stay out of relegation. So I'm going to go with Tyrone, and I'm going to say by four points, I think they can get a decent enough win so Tyrone to win by four points. Up next we have Roscommon versus Donegal. Um, Donegal will be looking to hopefully avoid relegation if they can win this it'll certainly help them. Uh, Roscommon don't think they can make the final it depends on how other games go. Um, so yeah, this will be a big one for Donegal, they're going to put up a pretty good fight. Uh, Roscommon have done pretty well so far. Um, so it's hard to say. Because Donegal should come out pretty strong in this game, trying to avoid relegation. So, I think I'm going to give this one to Roscommon though. I, I think they'll just be too good for them in the end. And I'm going to say by two points. I think Donegal will put up a good fight, like I think they will, but Roscommon will just be too good for them in the end, so Roscommon to win by two points. Up next we have Mayo versus Monaghan. Uh, Mayo already have their final spot, Monaghan hoping to get out of relegation. Um, unfortunately, I doubt it. Uh, Mayo unbeaten at the minute. So, it's looking like it, Mayo are going to win the league, so I imagine they, they'll get the win here as well. I'm going to say by six points, I think they're going to be too strong for Monaghan, so Mayo to win by six points. Up next we have Galway versus Kerry, and looking at the table, this one will decide which one of them goes to the final. Um, because if Galway win, they're level on 10 points with Mayo. If Kerry win, they're level on 8 points with Galway, but will more than likely have the better score difference. Um, so, it's pretty much the winner of this will be in the league final. Unless Tyrone and Roscommon can absolutely obliterate the teams they're playing. But I doubt it. So it's between Galway and Kerry here. 
Um, Kerry not really on form in the league. Galway have been pretty good. So I think Galway are looking the favourites to win this. Um, so I think I'm going to go with Galway and I'm going to say by three points. I think Galway are looking pretty strong at the minute. Kerry are they're not, they're not as good as they should be. So Galway should take the win. So Galway to win by three points. Up next we have Cork versus Derry. Uh, Derry are currently in first, Cork are in fourth. <coughs> Derry have their spot in the final, they're promoted. Uh, this game is basically just to see can they go the entire group stage at least completely unbeaten and then it'll be a matter of the final. So um, Cork will be there's really not much in it for Cork they can only finish third at best so I doubt they'll, they'll probably put out a decent enough team to try and get themselves to be the ones that beat Derry uh, but I think Derry should win this so I'm going to say Derry by 5 points I think Derry are a very strong team they're a very strong team. They've, last year they were very good and they're doing the same already this year, so. Derry to win by five points. Up next we have Kildare versus Mead. Um, interesting one, Kildare practically safe. Yes, or not Kildare, uh, Mead are safe. They're just looking to get the win really. Uh, whereas Kildare, could possibly end up in the relegation zone depending on how Claire and Limerick goes. So yeah, Kildare will be looking to get the win here and hopefully avoid that. Um, two of them should be fairly even. Um, I think I think me they're probably going to put Kildare under pressure and I think they'll probably get a very narrow win. I'm going to say about one point I think me they're just going to keep up the pressure on Kildare and Kildare just won't be able to get the win at the very end so me to win by one point. Up next we have Dublin versus Loud. This is an interesting one because um, Loud with a with a good enough win can actually overtake Dublin, which would get them promoted and would prevent Dublin from getting promoted. So that would this game should be interesting. Dublin will be looking to bounce back after their defeat to Derry. Um uh, and get the the win. So well, they've already done that. They didn't play at Derry this weekend, did they? I'm probably thinking wrong. I don't know. But Dublin will be looking to, you know, prevent another loss anyway. Whereas Loud are in a position where if they can get the right... If they can get a win with the right score, they'll overtake Dublin and get themselves promoted. Which I believe will be two promotions in a row. So... They'll definitely be looking to do that at least. So Loud are gonna put up a good fight. But I don't think I don't think they'll get it. I think they'll put up a very good fight. The score definitely won't be big. Um, but I think Dublin will get it in the end. I'm gonna say by two points. I think Loud are really, really looking for a chance to get promoted. But I think Dublin are gonna be too strong in the end, so Dublin to win by two points. Up next we have Clare versus Limerick. Um, Clare looking to get the win and possibly avoid relegation if, depending on how Kildare's game goes. Limerick looking to get their first win. Um, after they've only had a draw, so they're looking to get their first win. And as well as that, drag Clare down with them. So, could go either way this one. Um, 
but I think Claire are probably looking more likely to win this and I imagine it'll stay that way. I'm gonna say by f four points. I think Limerick will put up a decent enough fight to try and prevent Claire from staying up but they'll just get in the end so Claire to win by four points. Up next we have Offaly versus Down. Um, both of them could possibly end up in the final depending on how Fermanagh's game against Calvin goes. Um, yeah, it, it all comes down to score difference after one of these wins if Fermanagh lose. Um, because I imagine Calvin are safe regardless with their score difference. Whereas Fermanagh down and Offaly have a much tighter score difference. So basically, if Fermanagh lose, then one of these needs a big enough win that they can um, overtake them, basically. Because Fermanagh's score difference is in double digits, down and Offaly's is only in single digits, so. It'll be, need to be a pretty big win for either of these. So this one could actually go either way. Um, I think Offaly were unlucky to get relegated last year, so I think they'll probably pull up the better fight, and I think they'll get the win. So I think I'm going to go with Offaly on this, and I'm going to say by four points. Uh, whether that'll be enough to get into the final, We'll have to wait and see, but yeah, awfully to win by four points. Up next we have Longford versus Antrim, um, a game that has no real outcome for either of them. Longford are already relegated, Antrim can just go above Westmead if they win, that's it. So there's not much to it, um, but I imagine Antrim should win this one when, when they're doing better than Longford. Uh, so I'm going to go with Antrim and I'm going to say by four points. I think it, it won't be too big of a win, but it'll definitely be big enough. So Antrim to win by four points. Up next we have Westmead versus Tipperary. Uh, this game has no positive outcome for either of them. Uh, Westmead are behind off fleeing down, so they'd only be able to get the eight points maybe overtake the loser of that game Tipperary are already relegated so result really doesn't matter but I imagine Westmead should take this Tipperary only have the one draw and it, it's against Longford who are one spot below them so I'd be expecting Westmead to win this and I'm gonna say by six points I think Westmead are they're, they're a decent enough side so Westmead to win by six points up next we have Cavan versus Fermanagh. Uh, top of the table clash. Uh, neither of them really in danger. Um, Cavan pretty much have their final spot. Fermanagh bar down or roughly beats the other pretty spectacularly. Uh, it's pretty much theirs. So could go either way then. Fermanagh really just be looking to seal their spot with a win so but uh, I'm thinking Cavan on this one I think they're just proven to be the better team and I'm gonna say by three points I think they'll just be too strong for for man on the day so Cavan to win by three points up next we have Leitrim versus Sligo top of the table another top of the table clash could go either way um I think Leitrim will be looking to keep themselves safe per, for promotion. Um, Sligo though are looking like the better team going into it. So could go either way. But I think I'm going to go with Sligo on this one. They're proven to be a pretty good team. And I'm going to say by three points. I think they'll just be a little bit too strong for Leitrim on the day. So Sligo to win by three points. 
up next we have Waterford versus Wicklow. Um, this uh, this won't matter to Waterford. They they'll finish behind Carlo regardless. Uh, whereas Wicklow, I think, could yes, Wicklow could possibly get into the final. Though I doubt it. But they'll probably, you know, they'll they'll keep their fingers crossed. So I think Wicklow will win this. Um, I think Warford were lucky to get the win against London. But Wicklow should get this. Um, and I'm going to say by f four points. I think it'll be a decent enough win. So Wicklow to win by four points. And our final game of the weekend and of the group stages of the football is London versus Leash. London are currently sitting bottom of the table with only the one point that they got against Wexford. Leash are sitting in third looking for um, a chance to get promoted. Their Leash are hoping Sligo win. Sligo win, Leash win. Two of them are in the final. Uh, Sligo lose and Leash lose. Or Sligo lose. And. Um, no, yes. If Sligo lose and Leash lose, um, it'll be Leitrim and Sligo. But if both Leitrim and Leash lose. We could possibly get Wicklow in the final, so it'll all depend on scores. But I don't, I don't expect Leash to lose to London. Um, I imagine it'll be a pretty big win for Leash. I'm gonna say by seven points. I think they're looking to go, and they're gonna go for promotions. So Leash to win by seven points. So there you have it, those are my predictions for this weekend's football. Be sure to also check out my predictions for the knockout stages of the Hurling. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I will see you for the next one.